This is Jaylee Merrill here at ASU's Media Day, and I'm here with defensive back Chase Lucas. Chase, thank you so much for joining me. So last year you were a true freshman, probably thinking that a year later you wouldn't be stepping out on the field. But here you are a year later, and you're running out with the first team. How does that feel for you? It feels really, really good. Um, I put a lot of hard work into the off seasons, you know what I'm saying? During the season, got it, I got to red shirt, so I got to see how the older guys do it, um, kind of get a feel of the ball, get a feel of the game, and get a feel for the coaches. So with Coach Bennett coming in, he's a great coach, great addition to the team, and I feel like me and him bond really well, and we really connect and click. So. You know, he kind of put the pressure on me to do what I needed to do and so I can get on the field. And so I took that with a full head of steam and, and now I'm here today. So I appreciate all of it. The cornerback group lost some key players like Armand Perry and Kareem Orr. When you first came into fall camp, did you feel extra pressure like you needed to pick up the slack of those players who did leave? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, they were really good friends of mine, Armand and uh, Kareem. I'm kind of hurt that he left and he's doing his own way and got his own path. But um, coming into the fall camp, I felt like I'm going to be the number one guy. So I needed to act like it and play like it. So um, it was kind of tough in the beginning. But um, now that it's the third, fourth practice and now we're going up to Camp T, I feel like I got a good handle on it. So I'm going to do my players right and I'm going to do my team right. And just hopefully I can make Armand and Kareem proud when they see me play. In order to do your team right, you know, what are some specific skills that you have personally improved on from last year? Oh, my size. I, I was real uh, kind of underweight and, and uh, flamboyant in the beginning. So now I'm, I'm kind. I got my uh, my build up. I'm 20, 25 pounds heavier than I was last year. So I'm uh, really, really experienced now. But the corner, the cornerback position. I'm trying to learn all the plays. Trying to get with Coach Benny and Coach Rushing at the end of practice, and trying to feel my way and trying to feel. Uh, more comfortable at the cornerback position. So I like m my feet and my mobility. I feel it's a great uh, way of my play, but my reception points and um, since I was playing offense in high school, I feel like I'm real good at attacking the ball. So yeah, that's about it. As you probably know, critics are saying that the Sun Devil defensive back group isn't going to show much improvement this year. Do you take those voices and tune them out, or do you use that as motivation for yourself? Oh, I use it as motivation. I love the critics. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. I just <laughs> embrace it. You know, I, I get on my phone. I don't tweet much. I just read it and just screenshot it and just keep it there, post it up, and I just let it build up inside of me. So that first game, Man, uh, it's New Mexico State, man. I'm, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna shut them critics up. I just want to say that. Yeah. Yeah, haters are gonna hate, but you just gotta live it. Um, what do you think that this defensive back group is going to bring this year that is going to allow them to have more success than last year? Mm, we got intensity. We got intensity. We got a bunch of guys that are hungry. We got a bunch of guys that are ready to compete and fight for the ball. So I feel like. This year, rather than last year, everybody, there was older seniors and everybody knew that there was a position that was going to be held. Now it's everybody versus everybody. So we're out there trying to get each other better, but we're also trying to fight for that spot. And I feel like that wasn't a part of uh, last year's team. So with the squad that we have now, we're very, very confident, but we're very, very ready at the same time. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing that hunger and intensity. For DevilsDigest.com, I'm Jaylee Merrill. Keep it right here for all the latest in ASU's fall camp coverage.